all right welcome back to brain flow tv y'all just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this topic and here's another ynw melly update so i follow bryson paul right a journalist on instagram and other platforms and just just now i went over there and i saw that there is a petition that has been put out um and ynw melly mom also shared the petition and the link to it and i went over there and i looked at it and what it is is they're basically asking for people to sign this petition so she could get some access to melly now i'm actually on the page right now if you are a ynw melly fan it's it's you could find the petition at www.change.org slash demand fair treatment for jamel demons that's what the name of the petition is and it's at www.org demand fair treatment for jamel demons i'm gonna let you hear what some of the people are saying because when i went to www.change.org and i encourage you to go over there and look at this petition there are multiple videos on here of individuals speaking about why they think YNW Melly should be free. I'm going to save my judgment because watching them explain why they think he should be free kind of gives me a great insight as to who are the people that are online saying free YNW Melly and calling for him to be free and all that. But this is the information that goes with the petition. It says why this petition matters it was started by a person called cat garvey it says as a mother of four i'm deeply distressed by the treatment of jamel demons a young man who has been languishing in a cell for five years awaiting trial despite having had a mistrial and still being denied bond he is kept in 23 hours lockdown with no contact with anyone this is not just an affront to his rights it's an affront to our shared humanity jamel's case is emblematic of a larger issue within the justice system that presumes guilt before innocence he has not been convicted but he is being treated as if he already had a guilty verdict this kind of treatment can have a severe impact on mental health something that should concern us all according to the national alliance of mental illness or a organization called nami and ami prolonged isolation can lead to depression anxiety and other forms of psychological distress Furthermore, studies show that pre-trial detention can increase the likelihood of conviction. Pre-trial detention can increase the likelihood of conviction. Prison Policy Initiative. We must demand fair treatment for Jamel Demons and others like him who are presumed guilty before they're proven innocent. We urge the relevant authorities to ensure his right to a speedy trial as per Sixth Amendment rights under the U.S. Constitution and end his unjust solitary confinement immediately. Please sign this petition today. Let's stand up for justice, human rights, and our shared humanity. Now, right now they have a goal right and this was put up one day ago or two days ago cat garvey started this petition two days ago at www.change.org demand fair treatment for jamel demons according to bryson paul on x which was formerly twitter a current goal of 500 signatures is required the petition promotes melly's release from 23 and 1 which means he is locked down for 23 hours a day and he is only let out for one hour per 24 hours the 24 year old has been confined to this jail restriction for the majority of 2023 
as he currently fights his capital murder charges that we all know about. He is in solitary confinement. His mama shared it, and his mama is basically saying she hasn't speak she hasn't spoken to um she hasn't spoken to Jamel face to face seeing her son in a long time. And, you know, this could be damaging for his mental health. And she's urging everybody to go and sign the petition. She wants to visit him. Now, we got to remember, I just stated this information in the video we put up recently. The prosecutors on the case just about a month ago accused YNW Melly's mom of coming to trial and non-verbally trying to get with jurors or potential jurors get with as in maybe she was trying to like her behavior try to persuade them she's a mother in distress she needs them to vote in her favor vote none guilty for her son all kinds of stuff like that right and they requested they filed a motion to have the judge ban her from the jury selection process the judge actually shot that down the judge said she has a right to be there she however took to instagram a month ago or so and said they wanted me out the judge said i could be there but for the sake of my son because i know these people are corrupted already that whole department is corrupted. So for the sake of my son, I'm going to take myself away from there. I think a matter of fact, she picked up like extra shifts at um, a different medical facility because she is a registered nurse. And she, I th believe she was used to working nighttime only. So now she's going to be working daytime and nighttime, double up her shift to keep herself occupied and whatnot. Right. And she explained in her video that she's been going to see Melly. At the courthouse and the only reason she goes on a very on a daily basis is because that's the only time she gets to see her child because it's been like a whole year almost that he's been on restrictions his restrictions include phone restrictions and visitation restrictions so he's not allowed to have visitors and he's not allowed to use the phone right the only time she could see him is when she shows up to the courthouse and they're having these jury selection process or he's got to show up to court for any kind of meeting or whatever they got going on there. She gets a glimpse of her son and you see them on video signaling however much they can. That's allowed across the courtroom. And that's about it. So this petition is over here for YNW Melly for anybody who wants to go sign it. Some people still are calling me biased. I assure you I'm far from biased. I do have my opinion. I do think that he is guilty. I do believe in fair trial and justice. And I do understand how the system works. At the end of the day, if you're inside, it's called jail for a reason. It's called prison for a reason. He's not in prison yet. He's in jail. But they do have rules and regulations inside of these institutions. And if you violate the rules and regulations inside of these institutions, they will take away your privileges. They have solitary confinement. They have revoking your privilege for you to have visitors physically for people to come see you. They have revoking other rights that you have in there. Probably no commissary. Probably no whatever the rules are. They have them in there. So if you're in there carrying on and there and it's causing you to be restricted then i don't think these petitions are gonna help but it makes somebody feel like they're doing something right now listen to some of these people try to explain why they want ynw melly free or why you should sign the petition i hope you can hear it clearly but check it out here goes some of them i feel like they should free ynw melly because he's at incredible talent and warden man he's an incredible human like, he has a loving soul you watch an interview you can tell he's have a loving soul i feel like he wouldn't hurt nobody so give him a second chance give him a second chance we all need second chances 
he's a young man. The system is trying to railroad him. Please help. That person said, I feel like we should free YNW Melly because he is an incredible talent. And we should, and Bortland, he is an incredible soul. I watched the interview with him and he's an incredible soul. I don't feel like he could hurt anybody. That's their reason for wanting him free because he's an incredible talent. Now, I don't want to show these people's face because I don't want them to complain to YouTube that I use their face in a video and they want the face taken down. But they revealed their own faces on www.change.org demand fair treatment for Jamel Demons. Here's another person. Listen to what he had to say. It, um, we should, we should, they should free YNW Melly. He has like, he have talent. Like, they need to release him because like, he was our favorite rapper and all. Like, you really, like we used to listen to him every day like i don't know what these police are doing like they're trying to trap a nigga like bruh let him go he didn't do nothing on me free melly though free melly i love you see what i'm saying and and looking at these people i i can see now you know when ynw melly was going through his trial every day thousands and thousands of people would be in the comment section and a lot of them seemed like it wasn't the summertime, so school was out. So young people had a lot of free time. Now, a lot of them seemed like they just wanted him to be free. So they kept typing in the comment section from Law and Crime, free YNW Melly, free YNW Melly. I don't care. Some of them were trolling. They were saying stuff like Jamie Foxx did it. Will Smith did it. T.I. did it. DMX did it, even though DMX is dead. They just kept putting names in there. Melly didn't do it. Free YNW Melly. And they would do this even while the state was presenting its case, like showing you how it all points to him. These are the same people that will argue with you today. You don't know anything about the case because you didn't follow the case. Now, mind you, the whole time they should have been paying attention to what was being presented in the case. They were busy just typing in the comment section like kids do free YNW Melly, free YNW Melly. And they just kept going back and forth. Listen to this other person now. Man, free Melly, he innocent, man. Another one. Y'all need to get him motherfucking boy food. Okay, and then here, this young lady right here. This man has not talked to his family for over a year like let alone that like, he's going through that imagine what his family is going through like just thinking the words like is my son okay like when am i gonna be able to talk to him like the holidays are coming like they're this man is gonna go mentally crazy in there because they're mentally abusing him and they're like that's so fucked up like why is he the only one getting this treatment why is he on lockdown 24 7 like that is so fucked up like no one should be ever no human should be treated that way like this. And then they go on. Here's another one. I feel like people should sign this. And I signed this because he's innocent. Even if there's evidence or even if people believe that he's not. He's also one of my favorite artists. And he deserves to be free because he still has a future. He's still young. He said he believes people should sign this and he should be free even if there's evidence. Just free him because he's young and he still has a future. Never mind what he did or what they're saying he did and they have proof that he did. Just free him because he's young and he still has a future. I hate this, man. I hate this. It's called accountability. And I think today's generation, they don't really look towards accountability these young people really feel like when they see people die in movies and then the actor comes back in the next movie they feel like that's the same thing that happens in real life you just come back in an alternate universe you're somewhere else on the planet still alive sack and juvie did not really die they're somewhere out there and the system is just trying to trap trap a brother lock a ninja up 
that kind of mentality right there, I don't know. You know, there's more sympathy here for the accused than there is for the victims. Here's another one. The first is for Melly. He does not need to be in jail. He needs to be at home with his family. Justice for Melly. Justice for Melly. He does not need to be in jail. He needs to be at home with his family. Justice for Melly. And here's another one. The prosecution has completely ignored his rights and abused his rights, and he deserves to be a free man. They're making up evidence after five years of finding fingerprints. That doesn't make sense. Now, this person actually showed his face as well. Some of these people, they're speaking, but they're not showing their faces, but there are a lot of faces on here, so you can see the person who is saying this. And I'm trying to tell y'all, pay attention to the to the, the, the case, pay attention to all the evidence that's coming out. They are convinced that the state has nothing against YNW Melly and they're just making stuff up. It's, it's uh, uh, almost delusional, almost delusional. And no better reason to free him other than he's talented. Here's another one. Yo, let Juan W. Milley talk to his family. It's about to be Christmas. He deserves it. He's been in there for about four years. It ain't fair. Free Milley, man. And another one. No one deserved his treatment. He'd be treated like unhuman. Hell. The people who want justice for Sack and Juvie would say no one deserves to be murdered in the manner that they were murdered in. But I want everybody to understand this, right? The people who are saying lock Melly up and they don't care if he gets to speak to his family or not, they're going to justify that by saying Sack and Juvie will never be able to speak to their family ever again. So what if you haven't spoken to Melly or visited him in over a year? Right now is crucial timing. So people are getting sentimentally wrapped up in this holiday season and feeling like everybody needs to be around their family during the holiday season. And it's not fair that Melly is, hasn't been found guilty. So he should be around his family. Even if he is locked up, he should still be allowed visits and phone calls. But what they're ignoring again is the fact that these institutions have rules and regulations behind bars. And if you violate them, then there are consequences. And these are some of the consequences is that your rights get taken away to visits, your rights get taken away to phone calls, your rights get taken away to commissary visits, your rights get taken away to this, that, and the other, right? Not only that, let's not forget about the witness tampering charges that were recently laid against YNW Bortland and YNW Melly. It is the same reason why YNW Bortland, who was out on bond and could have been home for the holidays, he was rearrested and placed in custody and his bond revoked. And now he has got to stay in custody throughout the holidays because what was going on behind bars? YNW Melly. According to law enforcement, was violating the terms and conditions, and he was using his time behind bars, his freedom to a phone, and his freedom to visits to try to manipulate the outcome of his murder trial. Reaching out to people, trying to get people to reach out to other people out in the streets, witness tampering, trying to get people to not show up to testify, etc., etc. So right now, it's not like they're just trying to hold him in there. They're really trying to make sure that he actually gets a fair trial. You know what I'm saying? Because if they let him go and then they have more proof that he is reaching out to people on the outside, he shouldn't be reaching out to and all that other stuff then that could actually impact the outcome of his trial regardless. But if they keep him on 23 lockdown, one out every day, hey, it says more that he is in a controlled environment, very limited to what he can do to actually affect the outcome of the case. You know, a smart person would say, bruh, 
you already have a date for your trial. It's rough. Just sit still and let this pass. And whatever the outcome is after your trial, at your trial, which is February 5th of 2024, then that's what it is. You got the rest of your life with many, many more Christmases after this. So just chill and let it pass, right? But nah, they got this petition out. They want you to sign the petition. If you're a fan of YNW Melly, right now they got 2,156 signatures. Their goal is to have 5,000 signatures all together. According to change.org, 166 people signed it today. Their next goal is 2,500. Their ultimate goal is 5,000 signatures. Change.org. Demand fair treatment for Jamel Demons. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Are you going to go sign the change.org? Do you believe that his rights or his freedom to use a phone and his freedom to communicate with his family, have visits, have phone calls over the holiday season into the new year should be restored? Or do you think he should be confined 23 hours lockdown, one hour out every day and keep him right where he is at? until after his trial and then we'll go from there at the outcome of his trial if he beats trial and he is free then so be it if he is convicted then he will have to live under the rules of a prison like all convicted people do talk to me in the comment sections and i'll catch you on the next video it's brain flow tv i'm out peace